Is Saudi Arabia using football for sports washing? And Saudi will benefit from these collaborations and these ownership because we do exchange programs already with, with Newcastle and with our connections around the world. That's the question that arises as the world pays attention to their high-profile acquisitions. Take, for instance, the signing of Cristiano Ronaldo by Al Nasser. The deal was nothing short of extraordinary. Two-year contract. Two-year contract. 200 million euros per season. The transfer wasn't just about money. It showcased Saudi Arabia's financial might and its clear ambition to sign the best players in the world. However, there are valid concerns about sports washing. Of sports washing. Sports washing. Sports washing. Sports washing. Sports washing. And the act of buying super stars could be seen as an attempt by the Saudis to bolster its reputation, while diverting attention away from issues like human rights and political controversies. As the world watches Saudi Arabia's sports activities unfold, we can't help but ponder, is their involvement in football a genuine effort for progress, or is it simply a sophisticated strategy for sports washing?